A lot of us have ran into issues with snap packages on Ubuntu based distributions where it takes quite a while to initially start up that application. And in the meanwhile, just having to sit there and wait until that application finally pops up on the screen. Well, some news out of Canonical, they've been testing with some compressions and how to get more responsiveness out of their snap packages. So let's talk about it in this blog post here that was posted by Canonical, a person named Igor over there. I'll post a link in the description below. Speed or rather responsiveness is an essential part of the software uses experience. Of course, a lot of us would agree with that. This applies to every technology and domain, snaps included. That's right. And yes, snaps included would be fantastic for them to make a speed boost because it's one of the things I personally dislike the most about using Ubuntu-based distributions with snap packages. Now, there is a reason that they're so slow in starting up, and that's because of how they're packaged and compressed. So over the years, the snap development team has put a lot of effort in making snaps more accessible to users, and one of those things is startup performance of those applications. Improvements to the compressions have led to a 30 to 60% boost in start times over the years, but it still quite wasn't enough, as we'll see soon in the benchmarks given to us below. But what's good about this is the LZO algorithm has been adopted with new results, and in this post, they want to share some data with us. Well, in order to test the data, what they've done is focused on KDE applications and built them with X, Z, and LZO algorithms to see if there's some sort of gain in performance, mainly start times for the snap applications. And they actually have come across some promising stuff. But before we get to it, make sure to subscribe below, hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos, smash that like button, and let's talk about the results. The result, it says below, is, is a listing of table sets performed on a laptop. Nothing special here. No 100 core CPU with the latest graphics card, just the plain Intel graphics SSD running a plasma desktop environment. So they talk about snap packages and the various KDE frameworks compressed with XZ versus LZO. And you'll notice a slash in between them. That just means cold on the left hand side, hot on the right hand side. And what are we measuring? We're measuring startup in seconds. So let's first talk about hay blocks here, which is a classic falling blocks game, much like Tetris. That's all K blocks is. And then we'll talk about G Compress, which is a educational entertainment software. So for the cold startup on K blocks, we have 6.3 seconds with XZ and then 1.1 for the hot startup, meaning it's already been starting up once. It may still be in memory somewhere waiting in the shadows in order to pop up again. So we won't really focus on the second number for all of these sets because you can tell right away that they're almost all the same with one outlier, 1.6 over here. So focusing on the cold startups in seconds, we see that there is an improvement going between the LZO compression and the XZ compression here, 6.3, and it becomes six second startup time with the cold startup using LZO in the KDE framework, which is decent. It's nothing crazy as we already have this performance. Personally, I don't even think it should be considered great, but let's move on to some of these other ones. So now an LZO snap on an LZO framework, 3.7 seconds, and an LZO snap on an XZ framework, 7.9 seconds. So this one is quite a benefit, over two times quicker in order to open up K block with the LZO snap and an LZO framework. Now that one's quite impressive. We also see some improvements over here with, with G Compress from 14.5 seconds starting up on XZ framework to 10.5 seconds. That's pretty good. And then about a third shaved off over here from 9.7 seconds to 6.3 seconds on an LZO snap with an LZO KD framework as opposed to an LZO snap with an XZ framework. In my opinion, it's still slow, but they're making improvements, which is impressive in of itself. Let's talk about the results here. They say that these results are interesting and largely consistent, which is good to hear. So across the board, we can see startup times being improved upon between 33 to 40%. Like I said, a third of the time shaved off, that's 33% from the above data. That's not bad at all. 
but it can be better. There's very heavy apps like Spotify on Windows 10 or 11 that start up in a matter of like two seconds, at least on my computer. And if I do the same thing as a snap package, it takes forever. I don't know the time anymore, but I know it's not fast. What I should have mentioned is that this 33 to 40% is really is using the XZ algorithm for the snap package and LZO algorithm for the framework, but a double combination, meaning LZO algorithm for both the snap and the KDE framework will lead to a better improvement, which is between 42 to 67%. Now, if you're towards the 67%, that's quite impressive in my opinion, but I really hope that they continue improving this and just get things down to starting within a couple seconds. Now that would be a truly impressive improvement in my opinion, but we know that it's quite hard to get there because of what snaps are. They basically are a containerized package with very strict rules and checks in order to be able to bundle that package as a snap. And it takes a lot of time to go through all of those inner leaves in order to run the snap and is in fact one of the benefits of using snap packages because everything just basically comes into this containerized application instead of you having to install extra libraries and extensions and frameworks, it's all built in. So what does this really leave us with? Well, in summary here on this blog post, it says that the initial findings from the first set of newly built KD snaps utilizing the LZO compression algorithm point favorably to applying this change of using LZO for both the framework and the snaps. And the KD team will be continuing on so they adopt over 100 snaps that are currently in the snap store to make this update. If you want to help out with this update, you can check out the beta and edge channels and modify a script called test script here, which allows you to get the startup times for a particular application that you run. So you can do some testing on your own. If you use this test script, let's just check it out real quick. Notice it has the target of what it's running here. They were running Chromium browser. You're going to have to fill this out by yourself. And basically what it boils down to is it tells you exactly how long it takes for a cold run and a hot run of an application to start up and run. It's a convenient little script. So check it out. If you're interested, let me know what you think about snap packages and their improvement and their load times in the comment section below. Also make sure to subscribe below, hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. If you haven't already smashed that like button, Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.